probably been stated on here by the guy right next to me about a hundred times when talking about the quintessential Miami Homer gamer guy that's committed to Miami football and made that decision stuck to it, regardless of all comers, all suitors, that guy's back with the U and he is one Duke Johnson. Duke Johnson is one of those guys. There's, there's a handful of guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you love multiple players from various decades and tons of guys that you have, uh, respect for and otherwise where the the emotions swell because of various connections and what they've produced on the field and what they've meant to this mm -hmm. football program but duke johnson is is near the top of that list uh yeah. and and he has decided that his nfl career is over he has toted the football at the next level for the last time and he has decided as a student assistant uh to now join uh the canes yeah as a grad assistant so you know, uh, very talented, uh, you know, young man, definitely uh, someone who is well respected here in South Florida, uh, you know, went to Miami, New Orleans, senior high school, uh, you know, five star all American, came, you know, went to Miami, Miami's all time leading rusher. So this new uh, crop of running backs has a guy who like, you know, played in the NFL like last season and is the all time leading rusher to ever have worn the orange, green and white back there, giving them tips and tricks on their craft. You could do worse. You could do worse. Um, but, you know, uh, congratulations to him uh, for, you know, having had an NFL career, uh, you know, and obviously all the best as he transitions to the next phase, uh, which, you know, it happens. That's how life goes, guys. You know, like Mike Rumpf was a first round NFL draft pick and then, you know, went into coaching, coached high school. You know, he's here at the, you know, coached at the U, is in the recruiting department. Like, it's the thing that happens. But, yeah, Duke Johnson, man, like his legacy in South Florida and with the Hurricanes is huge. Um, honestly and truly, he's a, a legend of Miami Dade high school football. Um, and to Mark's earlier point, he could have gone anywhere in the country, he could have showed up, committed to any team, signed, they would have taken him. But he's a Miami kid, he wanted to be at Miami, said, I'm going to Miami, that's it, I don't care what you're peddling, what you're selling, what your uh, recruiting pitch is here, or what your negative recruiting against Miami is. I don't care. I'm going to Miami. And that mentality is a thing that I've spoken of a lot. And like, you know, speaking of recruiting and everything, like with um, that wide receiver heretofore never be named because I saw the uh, pictures of him in his first day uh, at practice wearing scarlet and gray uh, up north. And like, I, I, it almost feels like a, like watching your ex-girlfriend get married to somebody else. Cause like it hurt, like he's, a specimen. But when I talked about that individual, Jeremiah Smith, that's who, uh, but heretofore, never to use the name again. But when I was talking about the fact of like, somebody needs to stand on business. Somebody needs to say, hey, I know that I'm quoting scripture right here, but hey, I'm walking by faith a little bit and not by sight. I know that this other school has done championship, championship, first round pick, first round pick, da 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 da, da and I'm going to put my trust and faith in this coaching staff, these relationships, this stuff here, the analogy is basically I need somebody as the number one wide receiver to do what Duke Johnson did. Because, again, he could have gone anywhere in America. I've told the story before, and I love telling it again. If you're new, you're going to enjoy this one. I know Marcus knows the story. is already smiling. I worked at Miramar High School. We played Norland in the opener. Duke Johnson was suspended or whatever he came in the press box whatever and then they made him leave out because there was only coaches and like the timing official and myself the announcer that same senior season my friend and i the band director went on i believe it was a thursday might have been a friday that miramar had a bye week we went down to Traz powell at fiu north and or miami dade north to watch north miami northwestern versus miami norland and my homeboy andrew went to college with the then director of Northwestern's band. So we're sitting on the Northwestern side of Traz Powell and they like, they completely segregate that stadium because there's fights and, you know, people bring weaponry and things like that. So it's like, Hey, one school goes over here. One school goes over there. Never should the twain meet. So we're on the Northwestern side and Duke Johnson put on a show 
the likes of which I have seldom seen. I think he took the opening kickoff back, a punt, um, two rushing touchdowns where he just like they pitched it to him or tossed it to him. And remember, Eric Flowers was the left tackle on that team. So Eric Flowers is running out in front of, of you know, like leveling line, little itty bitty Miami linebackers and safeties while Duke Johnson's going. And it's like he's just it's highlight reel after highlight reel every time he touches the ball. And I'm just being me. Oh, oh, you know, whatever. Like and late, you know, people on the and again, he plays for not the team on whose side I'm sitting. And, you know, there's people looking around and everything. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And I had they had this frosted lemonade, a frozen lemonade at Traz Powell sometimes. So I'm like, man, this ooh, lemonade is good. And I did it about two or three times for the first two or three touchdowns. And Duke Johnson, again, did Duke Johnson stuff, makes a jump cut, somebody's touching grass, breaking ankles, whatever, whatever. And I reacted. And <laughs> this octogenarian uh, woman, this grandma-aged woman with gray hair, was sitting a couple rows in front of me. And, like, we were sitting on the, the, the walkway. So, like, across the walkway, a couple rows down. And she gets up real slow. And she walks over and leans down, says, young man. That's going to be enough of that. Yes, ma'am. And I <laughs> not a peep the rest of the time. So I almost got jumped by like elderly people at Traz Powell watching Duke Johnson put on a show. That's the kind of legacy. That's the kind of electric talent he had. Cause I knew I was sitting on not the Norland side, but his talent and ability still got the reaction out of me. So I share that because that's one thing I will always remember about <laughs> Randy Duke Johnson. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, he's a younger guy. Obviously, he just played in the league. It's a great connection back uh, to the U for him as he begins his coaching career. He knows what he's talking about because he did it. So if any of these guys are thinking, well, why should I listen to you? Go into the football operations center. Look at the all-time yard or rushing yardage list. See what name is on top, then come holler at me because that's who it is. And so keeping it in the Hurricane family, great for Duke. I think it's a good move along with the new running back coach, Merritt. Um, and we're going to keep it pushing from there. So among other things with that story, it sounds like you were raised right because I'm guessing had that person been of another age, you may have just been like, Hey, it is what it is, and don't be bringing that here. I mean, <laughs> maybe in another situation, but I was deep behind enemy lines, man. Like I was forty rows up in the middle of the stands on the northwestern side, cheering for Norland. Like I, mm, I, I no, no, that I. Sometimes you have to admit that you're wrong, right? And just like cool, like I went over the line, I did whatever. That was my time where, yep. You know what? You're right. Heard won't be any more of that, ma'am. Thank you very much. Enjoy your evening. Like I was clearly wrong and I had to admit it at that time. And I'm going to take my shot that, that Cam, when he's on your side, he, he brings a big smile to your face and a chuckle. But when, when he's on the other side, uh, can, can poke you like few. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Unintentionally, because again, it wasn't even like I was downplaying the West. I was just, you know, really elated at what I was seeing out of New Orleans, but that, you know, oil and water kind of a thing. But yeah, so that that's a major move um, for the U um, and for Duke Johnson as he goes into his coaching career. So good move all around. 